disgrace. Angry Nigerians attack Wiki after doing this before Tinubu. Nigerians, this will shock you. Welcome back to Prospect Channels TV. Thank you for stopping by. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. The Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT Abuja, yes, some week has been subjected to fresh media attacks. After he bowed first the FCT permanent secretaries to bow before President Bola Tinubu. In the viral video, the minister, during inauguration of Area Road and 20 Express on Tuesday, called the parliament secretaries and made the program and ordered them to bow to the president as a way of showing appreciation for appointing them into the positions. In his words, the former River State Governor said, when people talk about the renewed hope it is as if it is just mere talk it is a reality and we want to use abuja to showcase that the renewed hope agenda is a really working practical he added that his action was meant to show respect to the president and his renewed hope agenda so mr president this is part of the promise made and promise fulfilled this heart was meant to show respect and allegiance to the president and appreciate the renewed hope brought by Mr. President, he said. Mwike subsequently ordered the permanent secretaries to come and bow. They did as instructed, but many Nigerians could not believe the level of humiliation and disgrace they were made to pass through because of political appointments. The first person I have here described the situation as very unfortunate, stating that it is unbelievable that Nwike portrayed himself as the Messiah to those who have probably been in the Civil Service Commission for years. It's just a sad situation. These are people who have spent almost all their lives in the Civil Service service commission but one man wants to make it feel like he is the messiah boldly stating they have been going to church mocks by no change my niger he said another person said nigeria political class is populated with people from the the dregs of society flagrant gotry is not coincidence in his action these ones they feel like god apc government thinks they are doing nigerians a favor these are reactions from nigerians as you can see these acts do not go down well with majority of nigerians who have you know reacted to this you know, they feel that Mwike humiliated those permanent secretaries by asking them, you know, to bow before Mr. President and all that. He said, according to Mwike, he said it's an act of honor to respect President Bola Ahmed Chinubu. Okay. In another news headline, the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, yes, Mwike, has reviewed why he recommended that one of the roads being commissioned in the FCT be named after Weloshenka. Daily Post reported that the project commissioned by President Bola Tinubu on Tuesday was a full scope development of the area road N20 from Northern Parkway to the Outer Northern Expressway within the federal capital city. It was named Weloshenka Way. Mwike described that the contract for the construction of the road was awarded in 2020 of the cost of $30.6 billion, adding that the completion of the road project has brought relief to the residents of the EFCT. He stated that the proposal to dedicate, to dedicate the road to Professor Shenka is rooted 
in the importance of honoring individuals who have made significant contributions to progress and development during their lifetime, thus setting an example for others. The minister also thanked the contractor for ensuring the timely completion of the road project. In her remarks, the Minister of State, FCT, Dr. Marianne Moham Mahmoud, okay, also a thanked President Bola Tinubu, the, the leadership of the National Assembly and the members of the Federal Executive Council for their support to the FCT administration. The Minister of State also extended appreciation to other stakeholders including the FCDA engineers and the construction team who contributed their experts to make the area road N20 a reality. She said the construction of the, the area in the FCT has created a safer, more efficient and more sustainable transportation network that benefits everyone in the capital city. So guys, what's your take on this? Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Please uh, share this video, let it go viral. Thank you for stopping by. Bye for now.